We know that some of you may not have access to Photoshop at home. So if that's the case, we want to talk a little bit about how you're going to modify this project so you actually can use it using some free web-based tools. So um, to do this, it's still very, very important that you are actually going through all of the videos and steps for the normal magazine cover assignment. Okay, so you're going to do the video analysis and you're still going to, you should still watch this tutorial video of how to do things in Photoshop because it will teach you a few of those, uh, those important elements. But then you're going to be watching this video here, the no Photoshop, no problem. And specifically, we're going to be using a combination of Pixlr and Canva, which are web-based graphic programs so you can design your own magazine and still make it look really, really good. So I'm going to start by going to Canva here. Now Canva uh, is very, very straightforward. A lot of you have probably used it before. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to start by searching for magazine and maybe I'll even put magazine cover and I'm going to get a bunch of options here. Now some of these look like they're more magazine um, articles or, or pages but I'm looking for one that might be kind of a nice cover and keep in mind this is nothing more than a starting point. You're going to change the whole thing up anyway so I don't know maybe I'll start with this uh, Clover magazine here. So I'm going to open this up and if you haven't already, make sure you make an account in Canva. It's totally free, but then you can at least save all of your options. Okay, so from here, I'm now going to just start modifying things. So the text they've already put in and I can change this to, uh, you know, nerdy if that's what I want. And there's so many different options here. They have lots of cool fonts you can play with. You can change the colors. You can change the spacing. I'm not going to do a full out... Um, lesson on how to do everything in Canva. A lot of it is pretty intuitive and you're just going to kind of figure it out for yourself. But you're still going to use those general principles we've talked about already about like color schemes and alignment. Now you can't actually do really nice um, uh, guidelines like we talked about for alignment um, but just remember that all of your text should never ever touch the side. There should always be kind of an imaginary vertical line and you can see they've already done that really nicely and that should be on the left side as well as the right. Now this picture, I'm not going to use that because that's when they supplied. So you can see it's all broken down nicely and it's it's really really easy to just kind of add some text and maybe I want to say, uh, I don't know, uh, I'll add a subheading here and this is going to be uh, issue number 424 and you know these are just small details that I may want to add uh, that kind of make it look a little more real so I'll add that the little right alignment that looks pretty good um, it is a little harder when you go to the title for example to add the stylization that we talked about so do the best you can. I mean, you can kind of, there's a few little options in here. I think you can add a bit of a gradient. You can change the color. You're just a little more limited than you would be with Photoshop. When it comes to getting the photos in there, okay, Canva is really good for layout, but it's not so good for actual editing. In that case, we're going to be using Pixlr. Now, if you don't have Photoshop at home, you've probably already used Pixlr and hopefully you followed the uh, the previous lesson, which was Food Face, and we have all sorts of tutorials that you can follow about how to use Pixlr. Um, but just as a very basic one here, I just found this image. This is the same image I used in uh, my previous lesson for Photoshop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut him out because I need to get him cut out. I don't want that uh, that background there. So a few ways to do it. I know the magic wand's not going to work very well. I've got my lasso here. Um, you know, I could do the bezier, uh, the magnetic, or the other magnetic. I'm going to just try this and I'm going to uh, skip through this pretty quickly and let you guys just watch. Okay, I'm generally pretty happy with that. Uh, you know, I went in and, and I did a bunch of modifications of it. So from here, I'm just going to copy that and then I'm going to paste that. And then I'm going to go over here and uncheck the original one. And like I said, it's, it's okay, it's not perfect. I may wanna go in there like with the eraser tool, for example. Um, and I could clean that up just a little bit. 
you know, it just depends. We want to see a really nice quality. Um, so yeah, do the best that you can with that. Now, when you're done, you want to make sure you maintain that transparency. Okay. And to do that, you save it as a PNG. So I'm going to go to file. I'm going to go to save. I'm going to choose a PNG. Do not choose a JPEG. Use a PNG and I'll just call it a nerd cutout. And you can see this is a very high resolution image here. Um, I'm going to download that. And what I can do is I can go back to Canva and I'm going to go in my menu here. I'll just go to uploads. Okay, and I'm going to upload an image or a video. I'll find the nerd cutout. Now mine's pretty high resolution, so it might take a while. Oh, it's not too bad. And it's going to upload it into my Canva library. And now I can bring it in. You can see that it is all cut out nicely. So I'll enlarge that. And I'm going to bring it to the front. Because if you remember, one of the things we wanted to see was that your character, your person, you, is going to be in front of the text. So from here, you know, I, again, I need to stylize that, but I can start laying out all of my article names. Now, if it's kind of getting in the way, like right now I can't grab anything else, I'm going to send it backward. Oops, sorry, I'm going to send it all the way to the back. And I might even lock it. So now I sh shouldn't be able to move it. Yeah, so it's stuck there now. So I can now start bringing all my text over here. And you can see this is a bit of a, this is a tough one because the contrast on the, uh, on the shirt makes it a little hard for articles, right? There's only so much room I can put them. But I can start moving stuff around. And if I want to put a background in there, you know, I can just find like a really nice clean background, put that in there, um, and just go from there. So hopefully that'll get you started. Again, use all of the, uh, the techniques that we already talked about in the original Photoshop lesson. Make sure you've watched the analysis video of how to analyze a magazine cover. And if you're not able to use Photoshop, just jump into Canva and make it. When you are all done and you need to hand it in, you just have to go over here and you're going to download it. And you can download it as a JPEG, as a PDF, PDF's probably the nicest way to do it. And then you can just send that uh, to whoever your teacher is and we'll go from there. Thanks guys, good luck.